and then sat down to write a letter to Jodie Foster. A letter that I will now read to you in full. Dear Jody, there is a definite possibility that I will be killed in my attempt to get Reagan. It is for this very opportunity that I'm writing you this letter now. As well you know, I love you very much. Over the past seven months, I've left you dozens of poems, letters, and love messages in the faint hope that you could develop an interest in me. And although we talked on the phone a couple of times, I never had the nerve to simply approach you and introduce myself. Besides my shyness, I honestly did not wish to bother you with my constant presence. I know the many messages left at your door and in your mailbox were a nuisance, but I felt that it was the most painless way for me to express my love for you. I feel very good about the fact that you at least know my name and know how I feel about you. And by hanging around your dormitory, I came to realize that I'm the topic of more than a little conversation, however full of ridicule it may be. At least you know that I'll always love you. Jody, I would abandon this idea of getting Reagan in a second if I could only win your heart and live out the rest of my life with you, whether it be in total obscurity or whatever. I will admit to you that you're the reason I'm going ahead with this attempt now is because I just cannot wait any longer to impress you. I've got to do something now to make you understand in no uncertain terms that I am doing all of this for your sake. By sacrificing my freedom and possibly my life, I hope to change your mind about me. This letter has been written only an hour before I leave for the Hilton Hotel. Jody. I'm asking you to please look in your heart and at least give me the chance with this historical deed to gain your respect and love. I love you forever, John Hinckley. 